Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. My name is Anshi and I'm presently working with Microsoft in their Windows team. I have been working here for approximately four years. Prior to that, I was working with Siemens Heldeniers and there also I worked for roughly four years. So overall, I have roughly eight years of experience. And if I have to talk about my credentials, so I have done my BTEC from a tier three college under Maharishi Dayanand University. And I have done my MTech from Delhi Technological University. A lot of students are extremely curious to know that how they can, from a tier three college, how they can land up a job in the tier one organization. So that is pretty much easy. All you need is to keep your system design and DSA strong. So that is all you are going to be needing here. I have also done the similar thing. So if I can do, you all can also do the same. I always encourage my students to dream big. Because like, you know, if you are going to be setting a bigger goal, it will be very easy for you to achieve that and trust your capabilities. Also, when it is about interviews, you do not have to have that interview anxiety. Just be as relaxed as you guys can. And trust me, the end results are going to be extremely great. Also, some people have this question in their mind, what to do if they have some educational gaps. So even if I have to talk about my own experience, I have an educational gap of uh, approximately a year. So what exactly happened after completing my BTEC from a tier three college, I wanted to get a company extremely good, like some tier one company, but I was not able to get the same. So what I did, I took a year of gap where I was preparing for a gate. And after the gate, I got my admission in DTO. After that, now I am working for Microsoft and I have also given interviews in other companies as well. And trust me, guys, nobody is actually going to be questioning you about your educational gap. All they are interested in is to know how good you are at the problem solving. So keep your problem solving part great. And at the same time, you should be knowing that whenever you have encountered any real life problem, how you are going to be solving the same. So for that, you should be extremely good at system design. You should be knowing both of the parts, the low level design as well as the high level part. I will be going to be one of your mentor at the Euron. So I'm going to be seeing you there. Till then, happy learning. Bye-bye and good luck everyone. Bye-bye.